I will be right back after these messages. Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. So last week we started off 2019 with a brand new Integrity Toys doll from the 2018 Integrity Toys Lux Life convention. Last week's public adoration Eden Blair doll was like so major online. Oh my god, the amount of photos I saw of that doll. Today we're going to be taking a look at her twin sister. She is the gorgeous Afterglow Lilith Blair. She was a centerpiece doll from the convention and she was also a W Club luncheon exclusive. Last week, uh, her twin sister came in a not so festive box, but I am happy to report that we are back to regularly scheduled programming with the packaging. These girls are part of the New Face collection. It's actually the first time I've ever um, had any interaction with the twins. I've obviously read about them and seen a lot of them online, and I know that many of you guys are um, die-hard Lilith and Eden collectors. And I tell you what, if this girl is uh, as glam as last week's was, which I think she will be, I will definitely be a convert. All right, so we have a beautiful white box here that says limited edition Lux Life luxurious collectible on the front. We see her little new face tag here hanging out in white ribbon. Are we ready? One, two, and... Three. Oh my God, chic. Wow, oh my God, you guys. Look at that face. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that bleached brow. Yes, mama, yes. All right, we see a black little dress here, very reminiscent of what Saint Laurent has been doing. We see this beautiful draped detail here at the shoulder. I see lots of black crystals here. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, shall we go ahead and and take a look at the accessories. Mm. One, two, and three. <gasps> right away, I am drawn to her beautiful shoes. <gasps> wow, oh my God, how cool. They're even cooler in person than they are in the photos. Beautiful black heel with like gunmetal heel actually. Um, it looks like in sole detail. Oh, I see a little, a uh, few extra black stones here in case some of yours fall out. So that's a nice little touch. And then next to that, I see her beautiful jewelry suite. Gorgeous statement drop earrings here with like black crystals. I see a big ring and a bracelet as well. Love, love. We have the beautiful additional hands with the longer chicer nails. Oh my God, love, love, love. Ta-da. Right in here, actually, we see her beautiful certificate of authenticity. Same as last week's gorgeous Lux Life um, certificate here with the addition size and number and the integrity seal here on the right. I still really wish that we could take these um, accessory packs out, you guys. I don't love that we can't take them out anymore. Here in the back, she's tied down with white silk ribbons, very similar to our beloved silk stones. And then it also looks like her stand here is the same stand as her twin sisters from last week. Um, it should slide out just like so. Right, here we go. Unfortunately, it feels very lightweight. It's not like the um, typical uh, integrity stands that I have that are clear and heavy. This one is like very, very lightweight. So um, not crazy about that. I also wonder why there's two holes in it. Hmm, interesting. Back here on the left side, we see the telescoping portion of her stand. One, two, and three. Oh, shooky, shooky. Wow, oh my God. She definitely has like very different vibes from last week's Eden. She does have a white hairnet here covering up her beautiful blonde hair. So we'll go ahead and slip that off. Oh, wow. Her hair is like yellowy blonde, like very, very blonde, all right? She does have knee guards here, which we will take off as well. Here is Afterglow Lilith Blair, fully dressed in all of her accessories. Wow, you guys, she really, really is something special. Her hair is very gelled, just like her twin sisters. It's like helmety, so she also will be having a spa day here. I really, really love the combination of the bright blonde hair with the black accessories and the ensemble. So, so pretty. Check out her face, magical. Wow, that's such a beautiful sculpt, huh? I am in love. I am officially converted. <laughs> love those long shoulder grazing earrings. Love that bleached brow, soft pink lip. 
And this dress is so, so interesting. Kudos, Jessie, for like really giving us something so unique and special. It just is like so beautifully draped and so unique and so cool. Love, definitely getting Saint Laurent vibes from it and I'm not mad about that. I did put on her uh, new hands, so that is what you're seeing there. Little mini dress here. Love that the hemline is so high and so daring. Here are her gorgeous shoes. Oh, you guys know I live for beautiful shoes. Oh my God, these might be so on the list for like top three shoes ever. Beautiful, look at that detail, you guys. <laughs> living living and here she is from the back you see all that cool draping detail here um and just so unique and so different so cool definitely very luxe in its own way and just chic and contemporary all right guys so let's go ahead and get a better look here at lilith's dress <sighs> these shoes oh my god oh and it looks like it is a functioning belt Chic. Okay, Jesse. I see you, girl. I see you. Once the belt is off, it looks like it is kind of sewn through the dress here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. I do wish her hair was like a little bit longer. Something about this blunt cut here is a little bit odd to me. Though, I guess if it was longer, it would interfere with this beautiful drape detail. So, I mean, I guess it is what it is. But something about it just seems a little bit off. Just like that, the dress slips off here. I do not have to take her arms off. Um, though it probably would have been a little bit easier if I had. Here is Afterglow Lilith Blair in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her gorgeous new face physique. And wow, let's start off with the face, shall we? These gorgeous like shoulder brushing earrings, you guys. Oh, just everything. Just with the combination of her hair and skin complexion, love, love, love. She does have beautiful applied lashes there that we see from the side. Gorgeous, gorgeous makeup, like true Jessie Ayala style, just so chic and smoky and glamorous. Look at that contour on her eye, wow. Love the beautiful bleached brow. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it in person, but let me tell you, it is so chic. <laughs> Bright blonde hair. Like I mentioned earlier, definitely needs a good wash. So that will be happening right after this video. <laughs> also love that lip color so, so much. And then I did leave the jewelry on so that you guys can see it on the form. There are her gorgeous hands in the new sculpt that Integrity is now doing with a beautiful mauve manicure. And there is that beautiful statement ring in the same black crystal that her earrings are in. And then there we see her bracelet, a really, really gorge, um, nice thick bracelet in a very statement kind of silhouette. Love, love, love. And then she has beautiful black uh, panties on and that gorgeous uh, sheer fabric that Integrity does all their underwear in. We see a black hook there love love there she has a pedicure as well beautiful mauve color same as her hands she has the gorgeous new face body that we have seen recently on all of our new face dolls with articulation here at the shoulder here at the elbow and of course here at the wrist her head moves up down side to side her breastplate also pops off and she moves underneath there as well for a great range of posability she has a darling little belly button here and a very accentuated waist there her legs are long and gorgeous they kick to the front they kick to the side and then her beautiful seamless knee here bends just like so gorgeous arched high-heeled feet and yeah, you guys know that these articulated bodies have really, really grown on me. I absolutely adore. Here is her beautiful, super, super chic ensemble. Beautiful black dress that is so chic and so avant-garde. Love this black crystal detail everywhere. It adds a nice dimension to it. The drape detail here of this dress is really the interesting part. We see here that it is a little strapless dress um, mini dress, if you will. And then this drape detail is added, affixed here from the front, and it drapes all the way here to the back. Just so cool. Like, I love the ingenuity of this, and I just like the fact that it's so different, right? You can pose it in many different ways. It looks like it's uh, one panel of fabric that is kind of wrapped into a bit of a tube. We see that it is lined here. 
um, when we look closer. One big panel of fabric that's been manipulated and draped and it is ruched here in the back. Just so beautiful, no? Good job, Jesse. love. We see a facing back here at the closing. We see three silver snaps there with three thread loops. Here is the IT tag. Um, and then the inside, of course, fully lined in black silk, love, love. And then the belt kind of comes through and uh, creates a little effect here in the back. I didn't want to take it off because I feel like getting it through here might have been a little troublesome. But uh, yeah, such a sweet little piece. Of course, we see the hemline here beautifully finished off. And I like that we don't see any seams on here. You know what I mean? Like everything appears to be uh, one large panel of fabric and it's just so delicate in its delivery, but yet kind of mysterious and dark. Fabric wise, it appears to be like a silk blended fabric. It's so, so interesting. It almost has this kind of velvet look to it. And then the belt here in the front, the buckle is also quite detailed. Check that out. It is a beautiful gunmetal color. It's a fully functioning belt buckle here. The belt loops through just like so, and there are little um, loops for it to go into. So yeah, just so, so sweet. I love that. Here are her oh-so-chic shoes. Beautiful pumps here um, with what appears to be more of a kind of gunmetal-y kind of a uh, sole and platform and heel area here. So chic, do you see that? It's not really black, it's almost like a copper blend. My gosh, so cool. And then the top portion of the shoe is a clear plastic, and then we see this black sort of wave fire-like pattern um, etched into it. So chic, definitely very bad girl. Love this very much. I've seen variations of this on the runway and I'm not mad to have it in doll scale. In case you're wondering what the hand differences are, this top hand is the old hand that Integrity did and the bottom one is the new hand that we saw on the RuPaul doll. And it's definitely much more accentuated and much more severe. The nails are much longer, so chic. The pose is a little bit different as well. It's a little bit more exaggerated. So yeah, I think moving forward, these are the hands that we're gonna see on all of our IT dolls. So there we have it, you guys. This is the gorgeous Afterglow Lilith Blair from the brand new 2018 Integrity Toys convention. She is definitely luxe. She is definitely chic. And oh my goodness, if you are into high fashion looks that are very now, and you love blondes, she is definitely a doll for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Find me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Lilith and I are headed up to Capitol Hill. That has been um, historically the cooler, more edgy underground scene here in Seattle. I'm not the biggest fan, but something tells me that she's going to get me into all the places that I need to be in. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Lilith here in Seattle. And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.